Here's the gills, let's go, go, go. A walk tuna, a gizahuna, a walk tuna, a gizahuna. Well, up and at them, kids. Fun's here, and his name's the gills. Kids? Well, there you are. I thought you'd been kidnapped by aliens. Okie dokie, your boredom's done. Gizmo's here, let's get to the fun. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Gizmo. We're not bored. We're watching a super great movie. I, I can't remember who I am. I, I, I must have amnesia. <gasps> Uh-oh, Anisha. What Anisha, Oli? Amnesia is when you completely forget who you are. Well, now, hold on there. You tell me you'd rather watch somebody forgetting who they are than go make a noggin full of new memories with your Uncle Gizmo? This is the really, really good part. Oh, you'd rather watch telly than play Giddy Up with the Giz? Nay, nay, I say. Nay. Hmm. We'll fly air gizmo to exotic faraway places. <laughs> well, that's it, huh? The Giz has lost his feels. Don't worry, Uncle Gizmo. We'll play with you soon as the movie's over. Can't I even interest you in some Giztronaut anti-gravity walking? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Are you okay, Uncle Gizmo? Uh, pardon me? Who are you? I'm your nephew, Oli. Oli? Oh, that doesn't sound familiar. Me, Zoe. Hmm, Zoe, Zoe. Doesn't ring a bell. You don't remember us? I don't remember you. Or me. Uh-oh, Oli. Yep, Zo. Uncle Gizmo has amnesia. Uncle who? Uncle Gizmo! That's you! Sorry. I'm afraid I'm not acquainted with any Uncle Gizmo. You're Uncle Gizmo. Like this. <coughs> What's all that racket for? You really don't remember? I'll show you! <laughs> Now? That? Oh, 
I'd be way too scared to ride on a motorcycle. Especially a big shiny one like that. You have to remember all your needle sayings, like follow the kid and sees where the action is. And hey there, Bee Bottle let's turn your frown right side round. And dance a chicken, dance a chicken. Yeah, and the jerk and the pony, like this. <laughs> Walk tuna, gizza huna. Walk tuna, gizza huna. Walk tuna, gizza huna. Walk tuna, gizza huna. I'd never do silly dances like that. Not silly. Fun, fun, funny. <laughs> You're the funnest, funniest, bestest uncle we've ever had. You hung ten with the great Giruna and... Roundy up, roundy up. Yeah. I get on your back and you buck like a bronco. Like this. Oh, oh look out. Oh, whoa, Kelly. <laughs> whoa, whoa. What's all the hullabaloo? Uncle Gizmo wants to play, but we are watching telly. So he did a moonwalk. He fell and go boo-boo. And now he's got amnesia. Uh, that's right, sir. He doesn't remember how funny he is and the neat games he played with us. He doesn't remember anything. Is that so? So we want Uncle Giz back. Me too. <sighs> Hmm. Maybe if we hang him upside down again. Maybe I'll just have to try and uh, remember a little harder. Uh, who are you again? I'm only Polly, your nephew. Only Polly. Wait, not the only Polly who's the boinky ball champion of the whole Polly family. Yes, I am. See? Is that the same Oli Poli who can hop on one foot for nearly forever? Yeah, you got it. That's me. You must be Soupy Zoe. Yay! Soupy Zoe me! Zoe, that me! The Zoe with the bestest giggle since little Miss Gidgebot hit the beach? <laughs> me! <laughs> the Zoe who gives the best Uncle Giz given hugs in the whole round world? <laughs> me, me, me! Well, if you're Oli, and Zoe, and I'm your uncle. Well, then I gotta be the Giz. We did it! Did it, did it! <laughs> a walk tuna, a Giz a huna. A walk tuna, a Giz a huna. A walk tuna. Did you really have amnesia, Uncle Giz? Or were you just pulling our leg? Well, you know, Oli, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, everybody, follow the Giz. He's where the action is. Yay! A walk to tuna. A giz a huna. A walk to tuna. A giz a huna. A walk to tuna. A giz a huna. A walk to tuna. A huna walk to tuna. Ready with your carpets, Sweetums? Right here, hun. Sure could use some sprucing up. Don't worry, Pumpkin. One blast from my redecoratorator, and I'll fix it in a jiffy. Powder blue? Or how's about rocket thruster orange? <laughs> <laughs> Guess it needs one last little tweak. Hi, Billy. Hi, Oli. Finish 1001 Gear A, B, and Nights yet? I haven't even started yet. Reading can sure be boring, huh? Uh-huh. Boring? A thousand and one Gearabian Nights? Why, I used to read this book out loud just for fun. For fun? Sure. A turn of the page and whoosh! I'd be carried away to faraway places. Oh, this is my favorite story. Alibaba 
robot and the flying carpet. Here we go. Today. Oopsie daisies is right, but you know, I like it. <laughs> daisies, daisies, daisies. Oh, cookies are done. <gasps> cookies. One cookie and then nappy time. Cookies, no nappy. Maybe we should read Alibaba Bot out loud. That way, only one of us has to read at a time. Okie dokie. All start. Once upon a time, a heroic young bot named Ali Baba Bot met a wacky wizard who could do amazing magic. The wizard gave Ali a very special carpet. Whoa! In a land far, far away lived a Robo King and his daughter, the Roly Poly Princess. Whoa! Ow! I think we were flying. Your turn. Three bots wanted to marry the princess. They all brought her presents. Whoa! We are floating. One brought golden gears. Another brought precious pistons. And the third, Ali Baba Bot, brought a magic flying carpet. The redecoratorator must have zapped the story right into the carpet. What? When you stop reading, it stops floating. You try. The Robo King laughed at Ali Baba Bot's gift. He told him that if Ali wanted to marry the Roly Poly Princess, he had to rescue her from the wacky wizard's maze, bring her golden treasure, and fight the ferocious two-headed beast. See? Reading makes it float. Ali Bababot rode the magic carpet to find the princess himself. He flew through the crowded streets of Tripoli. He flew through secret passages in the desert canyons. On an asteroid in another galaxy, Ali Bababot found a genie. Me no nothing! Me no nothing! The genie said if Ali Bababot helped her get off the asteroid and set her free... Come on, genie! <laughs> she would give Ali... <laughs> Whoa! Mounds of golden treasure! Look, Billy! Treasure! Ali Baba Bot freed the genie. Bye, Oli! Bye, Billy! Bye, bye, Buggy! And continued across the exotic lands in search of the princess. Oli! Are you home? We're back here, Polly! Ali Baba Bot had traveled far and wide. Finally, he found the wacky wizard's planet. He could even hear the princess's voice, Oli! but he could not see her. She was lost in the wizard's maze. Ali entered the maze to find the princess. <gasps> uh, Oli! Ali and his carpet swerved and veered and careened through the maze. Oli, where are you? He looked everywhere for the princess. Here we are, Polly. Where? <gasps> How did you do that? Mr. Polly's redecoratorator zapped the story right into the carpet. As long as we keep reading, the carpet flies around. Ali Baba Bot found the princess. See? Neat! Oh! Can I try? Uh-huh. Now that Ali Baba Bot had found the princess, he had only one battle left to fight. Huh? Crossed an endless desert in search of the Fantas Phantasmagorical creature. <laughs> the fierce double-headed beast snarled. He growled. He clawed at Ali Baba Bot. But Ali was super courageous. And he tamed the wild beast. <laughs> the princess said the 
other bots brought me golden gears and precious pistons, but you and your carpet brought me the best present of all, a great adventure. And Ali and the princess lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> You kids finished your reading? We sure did, Mom. We went on a magic carpet ride. We battled the ferocious double-headed beast. And we found the princess. Well, that's what I call getting carried away. Now we're reading King Arthur and the Knights of the Square Table. Ugh, that redecorator is on the blink again. <laughs> Just a wee tweak and she'll be good as new. Neato, you're a plaid dad. <laughs> You too. Uncle Gizmo, Space was on a Dolly Wild Wild Horsey movie. Well now, this telly ain't big enough for the two of you. Your folks are going out and they've called on the Giz to keep the peace. So we're gonna have to settle this fair and square like. With the Giz's famous silver gear, you have two choices, heads or tails. If you call the side it lands on, then you win. I'm gonna make myself clear. Clear, clear, clear. Call it in the air, Ollie. Heads. Well, bust my Broncos. It's tails. <laughs> Don't you think we should have a rematch? Buck up, Buckaroo. Why not trade in your space helmet for a Stetson and join the roundup? Make the best of it. I really had my heart set on Space Boy. Giddy up, giddy up. Zoe Righty Range, huh? Well, you need some little doggies to do some getting along. Stay there, little buckaroo. I'll be back quicker than you can say, Geronimo! <laughs> now, that's a longhorn. And this here Zoe Poli Ranch is the best brand in the West. Guess what, Zoe? What, Uncle Giz? It's roundy up time. Round ya, round ya, round ya, round ya. You did it. You rounded up the little doggy. Roundy, roundy, roundy. Get ready, all you cowboys and cowgirls. Yeah! Roundy time! Roundy time! Fresh from the biggest roundy up in the history of the West. This next Bronco Bustin' Cow Gal hails from Red River Deer Valley. Zoe Poe, riding the never been broke bull. <laughs> the Gales. <laughs> 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 Like 
ladies and gentlemen, bots, the no steer ride champion of all Polyville. Yay! Showing like that deserves a tall sarsaparilla. Zoe, you're my kind of cow pal. I'm gonna make you my bestest deputy. You and me are gonna clean up this here town. Cheers, buckaroo. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <gasps> a cattle rustler. Oh, there, cowboy. You rustling that remote? Zoe watch horsey. She's not even watching. She's playing. Only play? No, Zoe, I want to watch Space Boy. Looks to me like the only way to solve this is Western style. We're gonna have ourselves a real rootin' tootin' showdown. <gasps> show me down, show me down, yay! I don't know. You cowpokes ready? I want you cowpokes to count to three. I'm gonna let the showdown unbegin. One, two, three. Holy, that's no showdown. That's a show dribble. Come on, let's try that again. All righty. One, nine, three. Uh oh. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oopsie doodles. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. oh, not again. Truce! Truce! I'm the sheriff and I'm calling a truce. <laughs> Oli, play. Thank you for play, Oli. Oh, shucks. Flying Cowboys is fun, too. You've shown some upright Western values there, Oli. I think that makes you my other bestest deputy. Thanks. <laughs> Watch Space Boy? Space Boy's over now, Zoe. Watch Cowbot movie? That's over, too. I guess time flies when you're having fun on the range. Well, Cowbot, you made the best of it. Making the best of it was fun. Maybe we should play a little more Cowbots. Uh, just for a while. Yes! <laughs> Zoe. Night, night, Deputy Oli. 